welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cecily, where I do book reviews, movie reviews, and anything in between. And today's video is going to be a book review on Bethany Morrow's Mim. This was her first book. While I was on Goodreads putting A Song Below Water as a book I had read, I saw Mim and saw that the it was the same author, so I was like, let me get this book a try. Let me tell you, I got done with this book within hours. Song Below Water, it took me forever. Mem, even though it's shorter, I got it done like that because that's how interested I was in the story of the book. So let's go ahead and get into the book review. Again, this is going to be kind of a spoiler book review. So starting off, this book is set in the 1900s to 1926 in Montreal. We have a scientist who, who has invented a way to take memories from your mind so you won't remember them and actually make a physical copy. So basically, if you had a tragic moment at 12 years old and you no longer want to remember that moment, you can extract that memory and a physical copy of you at that age would replay that memory over and over until it expires slash dies. As we see in the book, if you extract more and more and more, your memory and all of that is very much affected by this. So when you extract that memory, it's called a mem. That is your physical copy of your memory and that's called the mem. The person who got the extraction is called the source. So the human is the source, the memory is the mem. We are taking on this journey with Dolores. Dolores is the source. She has a memory extracted and it's called Dolores Abstract 1. Now this mem wasn't supposed to be living that long but she ends up going 20 years without expiring or dying. And that is very, very, very unusual, rare to the point of no other mem has done this at all. 20 years. I think the tops was maybe three years and then it expires. But after that, they only last maybe a month, maybe a year. But Dolores one has last 20 years. She's even had her own apartment and everything, but she gets called back to the vault. The vault is where the sciences keeps all the mems caged and looked after by nurses. So she gets taken back and she's wondering, you know, why she's brought back here. And that's kind of where the story kind of goes, where she gives us flashbacks of her life without Dolores' source and also her memories because she's able to gain new memories where other mems, they're just that, the memory that was extracted, they're nothing more. But Dolores Extract 1, she's more than that. She is almost debatable human. She has the capability of gaining new memories, of just being normal. Her skin color is the same as Source Dolores, which when you extract a mem, your color, their color is different. It's like shades different, but hers was the exact shade, shade of Dolores, which was very fascinating. But she even calls herself Elsie, Elsie after a, a movie star. Like she has her own name that she wants to be called. She's her own person. What I really enjoyed about this book is the fact that what would happen, like would you, if you had the option, take a memory out, not ever remember that ever happened to you, would you do that? Because it comes to the point with Dolores, Dolores, the source Dolores, ends up not doing that well in life. And they're wondering if a piece of her was with the mem that she needed to actually do better in our life. So there is a question of, if you take out all the bad in your life, would you be weaker or would you be stronger? And I think that is a question to ask, as well as would you do it in the first place? If you could get rid of a memory, would you extract it? And then how much memory would you extract? How much of your life would you want to disappear? And then it comes on to the part of, Okay, so 
would we use this as a method for like people who commit crime or certain things like that I thought automatically okay if this was real would they do this to like serial killers I know bear with me but they take that tragic moment out and would that change the person so it's all about whether or not these memories change a person and then as well what is real what is human Dolores slash Elsie she becomes realer and real she knows she's a mem but as she acknowledged things her shade becomes darker like she becomes more visibly human so a question of what is human if someone starts acting human and they're understanding does that make them human as well as the idea of property so since Elsie is the worst memory she has authority over her even though she is totally separate she has her memory but she's a totally different person she's experienced different things Dolores has moved on with her life she has done other extractions she's totally different they're two separate people you basically have twins almost twins and the acknowledgement of well is it right for Dolores who is not right now is it the right of Dolores to be like I want her to be expired but she's her own person she's lived for 20 years by herself so so it was an interesting story I do suggest that anyone can read this book but I don't think everybody would have a fun experience i read some of the reviews of this book not a lot of people had a lot of fun experience but in general just for the idea and making you think safe i would definitely suggest this book again very i can tell it's the same kind of writing style from a song below water but this was way more effortless like i was just enthralled in the story way more than a song below water song below water was a little bit too much going on and this book actually was there was not enough like she could have developed more in the story which would have helped with the character development and also learning like what it needs to be a mem and all that the science behind it like she could have done another 100 pages more detailing that um for reader so hopefully with the third book it's a combination of mims and a song below water and for me it'll be like the perfect storm perfect book for me but yeah that's pretty much it of my book review you guys comment below have you read mim and definitely suggest reading it quick read you'll get it done in a day and i'll see you guys on the next video this is